गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन दिस इज़ योर होमवर्क सोल्यूशंस ऑफ लेक्चर टू चैप्टर वन क्रॉप प्रोडक्शन एंड मैनेजमेंट सब्जेक्ट साइंस फॉर क्लास एट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड टिल क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर वी विल स्टार्ट विद क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव टूडे एक्सप्लेन हाउ फर्टिलाइजर्स आर डिफरेंट फ्रॉम मेन्योर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वट इज मेन्योर दीज आर ऑर्गेनिक इन नेचर दीज दीज मेन्योर आर ऑर्गेनिक इन नेचर दे हेल्प इन एनरिचमेंट एंड इम्प्रूव द फर्टिलिटी ऑफ द सॉइल with the nutrients because they are organic and they are natural fertilizers they exist in nature so they are natural fertilizers it does not cause any side effect as manure so, uh, manure do not have any side effects because manures are natural obtained from uh, animal and plant waste for example cattle dung urine plant waste or are the organic manures fertilizers these can be organic or inorganic in nature they help in faster growth and develops of the uh, development of the plant and help in enriching the soil with the nutrients these fertilizers are chemical salts of nitrogen potassium elements etc thus these fertilizers may cause side effects like allergy and our body irritation etc for example urea and superphosphate what is irrigation describe two methods of irrigation which conserve water irrigation is the method in which water is supplied to plants at regular intervals for agriculture uh, i hope you are clear with the definition the two methods of irrigation which help in conservation of water are sprinkles sprinkler system i explained you this yesterday also the system is more useful or uneven land having fewer water supplies in this method water is supplied using pipes to one or more central locations within the field and water is allowed to flow under high pressure with the help of a pump it gets sprinkled on the crops like rain so you can see this images this is a nozzle this is the water coming out from there and finally going to the soil drip system in this system water is delivered at or near the roots of the plants drop by drop this is the most efficient method of irrigation as there is no wastage of water at all this method is important in areas where water availability is poor you can see this these are the pipes this is a zoom of this pipe and this is like how drop by drop it is coming and going towards the roots if wheat is sown in the kharif season what would happen discuss if wheat is sown in the season that is grown in the period of month from june to october the crops of wheat may get destroyed as these crops is is the crop that is usually grown grown in the month of october to march the crop grown in the rainy season but the availability of the water is more and the optimum temperature is more these conditions are not favorable for the growth of wheat hence the wheat should not be grown during kharif season <clears throat> question number 8 explain how soil gets affected by the continuous plantation of crops in field soil supplies minerals and nutrients to the crop these nutrients like nitrogen phosphorus and potassium etc are essential for the growth of plants the continuous growing of crop in the same field makes the soil poorer if you will grow continuously in the in the crops in the same field it will make the soil poorer and in certain nutrients as the uh, growing uh, growing crops take up the nutrients from the soil hence the nutrients get depleted this make the soil infertile and with lack of nutrients in order to replenish the soil with nutrients farmer need to add manures or fertilizers to the soil which provide the soil with improve important nutrients and make the soil suitable for growing crops what are weeds the undesirable plants may may grow naturally along with the crops these are called weeds how can we control them there are many ways to remove weeds and control their growth weeds can be removed by uprooting or cutting them close to the ground from time to time this is done with the help of khurpi this is manual controlling of weeds weeds are also controlled using certain chemicals called weedicides they are sprayed in the field to kill the weeds for example 2,4-D ethyl ester and neem extract neem extract is a organic weedicide arrange the following boxes in proper order to make flow chart of sugar cane production this is your question first is sending crop of sugar factory second is irrigation third is harvesting fourth is sowing fifth is preparation of soil plowing the field and manuring so we will be 
uh, we will be arranging this in the order now so this is your answer preparation of soil plowing the field sowing manuring send uh, sorry irrigation harvesting sending the crops to the factory homework is to learn all the above questions question 5 6 7 8 9 10 of ncert exercise thank you